So you know I had to come on here and make a video making fun of the Cowboys, right? Because the Cowboys, and I'm going to be fair here, the San Francisco 49ers are very good. I think they might be better with Brock Purdy than they were with Jimmy Garoppolo, but that's another video for another day. But (laughs) it's just, you know, if you follow me on Twitter – if you've heard me talk about non-Browns related stuff on AFC North Talk, you would know that I'm a pretty big believer in the fact that the Cowboys are fraudulent. America's team is fraudulent. Why do I think that? Because you might be an older listener, right? You might be somebody who who used to be around in 95 when they were good in the mid-90s and all that, in the 80s and in the Landry era. You might be a, a, um, a, a veteran football head. But I was born in 95, which means I was one years old the last time the Cowboys achieved greatness. Ever since then, the Cowboys have been the mediocre franchise. Like, they have been, like, what? What we think of as the Chargers, right, this team that always gets to the playoffs but finds a way to embarrass themselves for so long before Joe Burrow, the Cincinnati Bengals were also this. That is what the Cowboys are. I have no faith in the Dallas Cowboys. And the reason I have no faith in the Dallas Cowboys is because of what the Dallas Cowboys demonstrate on a week-in and week-out basis, which is they cannot be trusted. They are in the same tier of team as the Atlanta Falcons. They are in the same tier team as the Chargers. Um, and Cincinnati just left, but the, the Giants, not, not the Giants, the damn Cowboys just replaced them. That is what the Cowboys are. They keep making bad decisions, hiring Mike uh, McCarthy. That was a bad decision everybody saw coming. And I don't mean a couple of people. I don't mean me personally. I didn't like Mike McCarthy. I mean like everybody thought that that was a bad idea. Mike McCarthy was not that good of a coach. He got to the Super Bowl, and he won a Super Bowl based off the greatness of Aaron Aaron Rodgers. And you can make the argument Aaron hasn't been back to the Super Bowl since Mike McCarthy has been his head coach, but it ain't like Mike McCarthy been close to being back either. At least A-Rod's blown a couple of uh, conference championship games. What can we say that Mike McCarthy has done outside of that other than losing the first and second round? And here we are again. Another epic Cowboys L. Another epic Cowboys L. It's like, when will they ever learn? You know, Cowboys fans wonder why people don't like Cowboys fans. Well, the Cowboys. And they think it's like a conspiracy against the Cowboys. And look, nobody got a problem with the Cowboys. Zeke Elliott done nothing to me. Cowboys have done nothing to ever hurt me ever. It's not Cowboys. The Cowboys, the team. It's Cowboy fans. Because Cowboy fans are kind of like, if you're a college football fan, what Nebraska fans used to be like. They're kind of like what Michigan fans are like now. You know, they're this fan base that still thinks it's the 90s. Right? That's what Cowboys fans are. They still think it's the 90s. The Chiefs done took over. They ain't been to the Super Bowl in like 26 years, and they still think it's the 90s. But it's not. Now, that's my whole rant on the Cowboys. Dak Prescott, you got to come here, my man. Because I've been a believer in Dak Prescott. I've been somebody who has said Dak Prescott is chronically underrated. And I still do believe that Dak Prescott is a little underrated. But, 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 look, Dak Prescott is a good quarterback. The same way that Kirk Cousins is a good quarterback, right? When we're talking about other good quarterbacks, they are not so good. But when we're talking about bad quarterbacks, Kirk Cousins and Dak Prescott look good. And Dak Prescott, I'm sorry. Those last two drives at the end of that game have put you firmly in the can't trust you category, right? You right there next to Derek Carr. You right there next to Kirk Cousins. You're right there next to Jimmy Garoppolo. Can't trust you. Cannot trust you. That is too many times. In the playoffs, I have seen Dak Prescott fold up, roll up, and plop a a stinky deuce. A stinky deuce in the middle of the football field. In the middle of Jerry. Well, that wasn't in Jerry's world, at least. That was at least this game was in Santa Clara. But just a bad game from Dak. Um, you know, Dak Prescott 
continues to have his worst moments at the worst time possible. And I don't know how you take the Cowboys seriously after this. Dak Prescott's not young. He's like almost 30. That deal is going to be up when he's like 37 or something crazy like that. Um, is he is he under 30? Let's look up Dak Prescott sport track real quick. Dak Prescott sport track. Well, let's put a contract. Oh, he's 29 already. And here's the thing about quarterbacks. We convince ourselves that quarterbacks will last forever. We do. We really do convince ourselves that quarterbacks will last forever. But you know how long a guy like that Prescott lasts? Till he's about 34. It's the truth. It's the truth. Look at most quarterbacks. Look at most decent quarterbacks. They usually start stinking around their mid-30s. It's probably going to happen to Dak. And what? That he's gonna be in his mid thirties in four seasons, so now you gotta watch out for him just kind of stinking, and he's not gonna get any better at this point. He is twenty nine years old. He is who he is. Um, if he's had a peak year, it's happened already. And then when you look at like their cap situation, it's not great. When you look at their roster situation, it's not great. The Cowboys' window has closed, dog. Like they are no longer a championship team or or a serious championship contending team anymore that just isn't what this team is tyron smith is getting ancient ezekiel elliott it is pathetic to watch ezekiel elliott attempt to run the football now and he will still owe him a ton of money um he was 16 million dollars for this year you can only get out of it by saving five like that's ridiculous you're probably just gonna keep zach zeke you had to get rid of uh, Amari Cooper in order to keep your other wide receivers. But, like, what what, what have Michael Gallup and C.D. Lamb really done for you? You know what I mean? Like, not at any moment that matters. Like, this team has some good young pieces. They have, um, they have one of the best young edge rushers in the game. But – and they got Trayvon Diggs. They got some pieces on defense. But quarterback, man – How's like it's the same reason why Kirk Cousins could have a team with Adam Thielen and Justin Jefferson on it and nobody takes it serious when they win 12 games. It's going to be the same pe- reason that people ain't going to take the Dallas Cowboys serious anymore. We're going to talk about it, but they are no longer a serious team. I'm going to now proceed with the Cowboys with the same level of seriousness that I would proceed with Kirk Cousins because – that is really what Dak Prescott has proven to be, which is a slightly better version of Kirk Cousins with all of the limitations of Kirk Cousins. Honestly, he's closer to Derek Carr than Kirk Cousins, in my opinion, because Derek Carr can scoot a little bit. Same way Dak can scoot a little bit, and Dak does have arm talent similar to Derek Carr. Kirk Cousins is just kind of just, you know, he kind of gets a bad rap just because he is what he is, but he just is what he is. Dak's a little different. Dak's very talented. It's just... He has his own limitations. It don't seem like them limitations going anywhere. So let me know what y'all think in the comment section below.